Yeah, hi. Welcome back to the next session of learning how to create beautiful websites using your Android phone. Uh, Okay, so a small interruption there. All right, so now let's move on. So first of all, we need to come here. You will have a file manager on your phone. Click the file manager and as you can see last time the file which we created was this one index.html so that's the file that is there so today we are going to make uh, a little bit of uh, a change we are going to create a new folder the reason is whenever you uh, create any any images any javascript files a css file html file all should be stored in one single folder for that reason we'll create a new folder so you need to come here let me show you the steps again so you can go on your phone and look for file manager click file manager and then you come over here this is your internal storage you may have an external storage if you've installed any SD card but uh, I'm using the internal storage okay over here you can click and create folder so I'm creating a new folder I will say web designing I click OK so as you can see <coughs> my new folder has been created so now I want to move this file send so it's asking where to send to so internal storage and I will click here okay not this one this or not this one this one yeah so it's empty so if you click here, here you can come in. Once again, let me do it again. Okay. So I click here. I say send. I click here. I go to internal sh shared storage, and I click here. And you see the paste button is there. You click that. Now we have made a copy of that index file over here so we don't need to redo what we did last time so from here we can go and delete this one so it will avoid duplication so now if you click here we have the file now you come back to notepad plus plus so open a file and now select web designing this one and then select this one so it has opened the file for us all right so today we're going to learn let me go ahead and delete this i'll show you select and this is the way you should delete so just backspace okay so now just let's save this and let's run this see this is what we did last class okay from here let's 
uh, today I'm going to teach you how to insert an image on your website so first of all let's go and download an image so I'll go here I like cats so let me download a cat go to images and any cat you like or any other pet animal I like this cat so I'll press and hold then it opens up this download image and share image so I want to download the image so I click download <coughs> the image has been downloaded but one thing about this is by default it goes and stores yeah I'm opening it I want this to be copied to my folder I go to internal search storage I come to web designing and over here I want to create one another folder it's always let me paste it for now and now I want to create one folder create a folder I call this as IMG it's a very good practice because in your website you may have plenty of images so it's always better to store them so that they are neatly placed so again we have to move this into this folder we need to move this image into this folder so I'll try and drag and drop so it, it doesn't work like how it works in computers so you have to use the same send option copy to and again I come to internal shared storage and now I click here and I paste it so now we have another copy here we don't need this we can go ahead and delete this so you can go and see yeah there you are fantastic so we're done with this <coughs> now let's come back now easier this way so now below this I want to create this image so the syntax for that is less than sign IMG that is image SRC SRC stands for source and equal equal sign and then double quotes now because our folder name is image we have to put image backslash and okay one more thing we didn't do let's go and save that in a name okay I'll come here because it's got this name I don't want this name so you click more you rename and you just say cat JPEG so it's called cat jpeg so we have to give exactly the same name here otherwise the system would not know so cat dot jpeg okay so now let's see what happens let's save this let's play it there you are you have the beautiful cat looking into looking up to us maybe it's hungry yeah okay sometimes we don't want the entire screen to be taken by the image okay now what do we do for that let's look so there are other properties which we can add so which is you can add the width property how much width you want so I'll say I need like 300 pixels PX stands for pixel and I <coughs> excuse me I need a height of 250 pixels okay 
okay so that's width of 350 pixels and height and generally it's a good idea to give an alt mm, that is in case if the picture is not visible what text so we can say a beautiful cat Okay. Now let's save it. Now let's save it and then let's play it. There you are. You see the size of the cat as image size has reduced. So you can go ahead and change according to your taste. You can increase the width maybe to 400. Save it and then you play it. Uh, that's perfect because it's falling in line with the text we've given above so 400 to 250 it's a okay uh, you may also want to give some text below this so for which I'll create a div element below this and I say a beautiful cat A beautiful cat and like you always know you need to close the div whenever you open any tag HTML tag so now let's go ahead and save it and let's play it okay that's quite cool so let me get a closer look of it so I want to bold this so let's go ahead and bold it the way you do it is use the strong tag which is like control uh, B in normal computers oops there's some mistake here Close the tag strong and you save it. Alright, so now let's see. Okay, that's look cool, ain't it? Yeah, so that's all for now. Uh, in next video, we gonna see how we can. Uh, give different fonts to this div um, in the CSS part we're gonna look that in the next video thanks for logging in till next video take care if you've not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe uh, do like and share it with your friends uh, this is a time where uh, skill enhancement is extremely important during this pandemic days so share it with a lot of your friends um, and let them also pull up their skills and also leave your comments in the comment section. Thanks. Take care. Bye.